Okay, in this video, guys, I'm going to be going over the ABCD pattern. Um, here I am on the British Australian dollar um, on the four hour chart. Uh, right now, I'll be showing you an example of the ABCD pattern. Uh, the ABCD pattern, what you're going to need is the Fibonacci extension tool. And the numbers you're going to need for the Fibonacci extension are going to be the 113, the 127.2. The 1414, the 1618, right here, the 200%, right here, the 224, right here, all the way up to the 2618, all right, 2618, right here, boom. All right, that's what you're going to need for ABCD patterns, okay? Let me actually draw it out real quick for you guys. Okay, so you guys already know already know how to use the Fibonacci, right? For let's say you have an up move. That's how you measure out the impulse leg, and then you get the retracement. Alright. For an ABCD pattern, if you're gonna if you're gonna get the exact same measurement, let's say you have an up move, and then you have a pullback, wherever it wherever it rejects off of. What you're going to try to do is figure out the extension of it. Where is it going to finish, right? For a full ABCD pattern, th that means the first, the first up move has to be the, the exact same distance as the, as the trend continuation, right? So that means like this. So this up move would have to be the exact same distance. And let's say it re rejects off the 618, it'd be like this. All right, that's the common lightning bolt pattern that everyone talks about, right? ABCD pattern. All right, to actually measure this out, that's what you're going to need their Fibonacci reciprocals for, right? So that's how I'll put up up on the screen. The 382 has to equal to 224 up to a 2618. A 50% has to equal a 200%. A 618, the exact one to one move, will be 1618. A 70.7 .7 will be a 1414. 786 will be a 127.2. And an 886 will be a 113. All right, so using our Fibonacci extension tool, instead of starting from the bottom of the impulse leg up to the high, as we did our, our first, we did our take profits, right? Our first, uh, our first targets, the 127 from the previous video, is going to be different. It's going to be a full ABCD pattern. So we're actually figuring out the exact, the exact same distance, okay? We're trying to find the reciprocal this time, not just a take profit target, okay? So we're going to use our Fibonacci extension. We're going to start it here from the 618 up to the high, back up, back down in to 618. And as you can see here, it finish at the 1618. Right here. See it? 1618. All right, so let's actually see a real example. So it's not just theory. Let's actually see a real example. I can show you guys. All right, so the same thing. We have an up move right here. Right, going back to market, a uh, raw market movement. We have an up move, and we have a pullback. Let's measure that out and see how much it is. All right, low to high, up move, finding the retracement. Boom, six one eight, right on the money. All right, if we're going long right here, if we put a long position, if we got in long off the six one eight, off this reach, off one of these rejections. Stop loss below the low. Instead of targeting the previous high, right, like how we used to, or doing the 127, right, the 127 would be up here somewhere. Let's actually do a full ABCD pattern, all right? So let's leave our target there. Let's copy our arrow. So I'll clone it. And it rejected off the 618, so that's where I'm going to put it. Right there. And as you can see, it met the 1618. It met, it did the exact, this, the same distance. It went for this up move. It went, it did it again in the trend continuation. So let's measure out the, with, the, with the extension now. Fibonacci extension started at the 618, up to the high, back down in to where it rejected. Remember, where it rejected is where you're going to be measuring out the ABCD pattern. That's where you're starting it. All right, boom. 1618 gets met. 
but let me see it. 1618 gets met, and look what happens afterwards. Boom, you get a big pullback. All right, and the market just consolidated, really just ranged before breaking it again. All right, but it did a big pullback after hitting this 1618. All right, so for the ABCD pattern, this is an ABCD pattern. A, impulse leg B, retracement C. D point is the full one to one move. 1618, all right? A, B, C, D. It's like a lightning bolt pattern, right? I'll draw it out right here. One, two, boom, like that. Okay, that's how it looks like, guys. A, B, C, D pattern. All right, Fibonacci extension is going to help you figure out where it's going to end, all right? So depending on where it rejects off of, so the 618, if you're, if you're targeting a full ABCD pattern, it's going to end at the 1618, okay? If it ended at the 50%, it would be a 200. 382, 224 to 2618, all right? Those numbers I put up on the screen, those are going to be the targets, all right, depending on where it rejects off of. Yeah, I usually only take the 618, the 707, or 786 ABCD patterns, but because um, they're the most profitable ones, right? Um, so yeah, guys, basically that's a full ABCD pattern. Um, let me actually try to find a blank area of the chart. I'll scrunch it up like this. Yeah, I can do it like this. So this is an ABCD pattern, A, B, C, D. All right, you're trying to figure out, depending on the distance where it retraces to, that's where you're going to find the extension, all right? That's how you're going to you're going to base the extension off of. So we flatten this out a little bit like this. Make it a little bit more realistic. Boom. First, you measure with your Fibonacci, low to high. Let's say reject it off the 382. You're going to pull out your Fibonacci extension tool. You're going to start it from the 382 up to the high, back down in. Okay, and your target's going to be for 382, it's going to be a 224 or up. So if we actually wanted to measure it out, we can do an arrow. Remember, up move, pull back to the 382, and copy this arrow, copy the full distance, see where it finishes at. Yep, 2618. All right, beautiful. Okay, so that's how you, that's how you can actually take profit as well. So whenever you're trading these ABCD patterns and you're taking it off of Fibonacci bounce, your take profit is going to be at the full extension, all right, if you're doing a full ABCD pattern. If you're not using the 127 or the 1618 of the full full move, and you're actually doing the full, the full ABCD pattern, then your take profit's going to be at one of those reciprocals. Okay. Now the idea behind that is that the Fibonacci they are measured. Okay, the market's measured. Everything in the market's measured. That's how we're doing these Fibonacci exercises, right? And these Fibonacci practices. Everything is measured in the market, guys. These Fibonacci patterns repeat over and over again. I mean, you're going to see them everywhere. Okay. That's a big part of my trading is Fibonacci, understanding ABC patterns. Um, got a big pattern right here. Let's see if I can actually label it out. Might be a pattern right here. High to low. We got near the 50, 382. Okay, if it doesn't touch it, but it gets very close, you can count it, but this time, no. It, got close but it didn't touch it so I'm gonna do a Fibonacci extension from here 382 see the 2618 got got hit and then it it consolidated pulled back and then finally broke it and then used it as a resistance right here before it kept going but that's a full pattern full ABCD pattern but it kept going all right that's not a good example because it didn't reverse right off of it but it's not gonna reverse all uh, off of it all the time right Those are just extensions. Those are just targets, all right? You're going to be targeting. For a full ABC pattern, you'll be targeting the full move, okay? Like right here. It's the best example I can show you. All right, because it was beautiful, right? The 1618 just chilled here. Okay, kept making lower highs right here. Lower high, boom, crash. And then pull back and then consolidate. 
you guys get the idea. First, master Fibonacci, measuring it out, measuring, uh, identifying the impulse leg. And then second, move on to the extensions for the take profit targets. And then third, move on to the ABCD pattern, right? If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, watch this video over again if you don't understand it. Go through the market and start measuring it out, all right? So I'm, I'm, all the numbers I put on the screen, write them down. All right, on to the next piece.